today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the new barn that I built on Minecraft. It's called High Horse Stable and a little bit about why I built it. It's based on a barn in Wellington, Florida that's it it sold for 7 million. And I was like, you know, I really want to make a a barn that looks super rich and like in like I've never been there obviously but I just you know kind of was inspired by how like fancy it looked and everything so I decided to make a very rich barn and the reason it's called high horse stable is because you know the saying like get off your high horse like you know also this is a single player world that it's just like a creative world and you can download it in the description you have to make a donation to download it and then you get the file and then you put the world in your saves folder so if you want to download the world you can go in the description and there's more detailed instructions also one more thing is that this texture pack or resource pack or whatever you want to call it is part of a question craft server so i don't own the texture pack i don't own anything in it so yeah i just wanted to clarify that so i'll probably put a download link i'm pretty sure i'm allowed to do that like just put a download link in the description with the resource pack in it so first i'll give you an overview you come in like through the gate and then there's two little pond lake things i kind of like hacked the river a little bit to make it kind of look like a lake and then you go through here this is the house part you can't i mean you can get in through here but um you can also get in through the actual entrance so this is the big entrance and there's giant doors and i've never made a barn like this before Okay, that is my dog. This is the entrance and everything. And then in the middle, there is a... In the middle, there is a ginormous tree. And then these are like the stalls. And then, oh, there's a parking lot over there. Here is the arena. It's like an all weather kind of thing. I'll explain later. And then there's pastures. You can see my little character on the bottom. There's like pastures over here. There's only two. And then the top of the house. So yeah, that's basically the overview of like the whole plot. A little side note, Maddie and Liv, they also built stuff on this world because like I opened, did the open to LAN type thing and they got on it and made a barn and Lydia made a million different things. So if you download the world, I gave like hints in some places on like where to find different things. So that's just like side note. This is the entrance again and there are rose bushes and trees and then on the outside of the barn, this is what like the windows on the outside look like. They have, I made this like um, these are like maps and frames and I made them and it took forever like it took hours just to make like the little picture like it was so ridiculous but yep that's what that looks like and I think I'll show you the barn first so when you first walk in there's these two giant fountain things and then there is a um I put labels here just so everyone knows like what switch does what so there are redstone lights so this is the switch for the lights and you can turn them all off it looks so dark there's lights in the stalls and lights up above so let's turn those back on and i'll show you what they look like and it looks so much better with the lights on so yeah and then for the front gate when it's up it means or when i guess when the light's off it means the gate is down so there's like a gate in the front i didn't make it that usable so i'm pretty sure like animals can still like 
try to get around the gate but you know I, I really tried there's some animals just like running around crazy and stuff and then there is another oh my gosh I just love I love this barn so much better than every other barn that I've made I just am in love with it so here is what the inside of the barn looks like I love it so much and this is what the stalls look like they have iron bars in the front what I did was I tried to make it look like real life stalls like you know how um, many many stalls they're not just made out of wood they have like um, bars on them that like iron bars but they don't look like this exactly but I tried to be like as close as possible so these are the horses that I have right now this is Dahlia and I have not gotten a horse to jump over four blocks like well actually I've gotten a horse to jump 4.8 like eight snow like little sections up like okay four blocks then eight snow sections but I'll show you that horse and then they all have like a little trunk like full of their stuff like different things in there this is fairy and this is Lid's horse, Boris, and he's he's pretty fast. He's 11 blocks, but his jump is only 3.1 for Boris. They have a flake of hay, and yeah, there's Boris. And then this is what their little window looks like. We have Velvet, and oh my gosh, you can't really see her. The stalls are pretty big. Like, um, I almost made them a little too big and then um i went on maddie's barn like on equestry craft and i was like wait maddie why are your stalls like 10 by 7 and mine no hers were like no hers were 12 by 10 or some crazy number and i was like you know i don't really feel so bad anymore and she kept telling me not to change the stalls because like you know i'm sure they're like fine um but this is mojito and Mojito was my highest jumping horse, like 4.4 blocks, but I don't know what he's doing. And then this is Nutmeg. Um, she's not she's not that good of a horse, but I still love her. This is Poe and Magnolia. And this horse, oh, I have not tested this horse yet. So actually. Do you think I should just test this horse? I'll test this horse in a second because I really need to. And then this is Shady. This is my best horse. He, like, I just found him wandering around this, like, area because it's, it's not a flat world. Like, I made it, um, planes, so there's horses running around, so I just found this horse and it jumped super high. Like, basically, it jumps almost five blocks like so close this is goob and bruno and then i think this is my fastest horse cory who is 12 blocks per second over here i didn't show you this so you're probably like why are there trap doors this is like a surprise like in there there's like a secret room and everything but if i showed you it wouldn't be secret like if you get the world you can go look in there and i put I put like instructions to like on how to find Maddie's barn and how to find like other things on here. Basically, you run down as fast as you can and then wherever your horse stops, that's how fast they are. So this horse is a nine, I believe. Also, this horse needs a name. She doesn't have like a name tag yet or anything. So if you guys have like any name suggestions, actually, it can be a boy or a girl. I don't really care like if he or she, I don't really know the gender of this horse. So it can be a boy or a girl and just like give me some name suggestions because I don't have a name for this one. I just put four, here. I'll change the sign to 4.1 jump and then 4.1 jump and 9 speed. There are 9 stalls over there on that aisle way. And then there's 9 stalls over here on this one. So 18 all together. And then all of this is redstone. So nothing is like ridiculously dark. 
next to the stalls is the feed room and we have like a bunch of hay on one side and then there is a sink with a boat on it it's supposed to be like a tray kind of and then there's a bunch of shelves on the wall and it has like feed and just storage and then there are a bunch of buckets and they all have like I know these are seeds but like <laughs> just pretend they're oats and grain and stuff like that wheat you know like and treats these are actually like real stuff but these I'm pretty sure these are just seeds but you know they really aren't I mean look at them and then Lydia made me these hay carts and I really like them you can't actually like move them or you ruin them but and then I put some flakes of hay here because you can like load them up in the hay cart and like take them to the horses there are these four like stalls for tacking up and they have a stall mat on the bottom so yeah it's like a little darker than usual and then on the side there are different supplies that you need for like tacking up the horses or like washing them or like grooming them and stuff oh like for tacking up the horses so this is actually like where you would put the stuff i put like a saddle stand it's actually a fence but nobody knows that <laughs> And then we have our tack room. The saddle stands in here, they're like raised up a little bit. And then they have like saddles and saddle pads. There's like storage chest things up there. And then over here, there's like a wall full of racing horses. That's supposed to be wallpaper, so yeah. And then there's ribbons and these are wraps, boots, more wraps human boots and a helmet and then a crop which on this crop there's a really big like <sighs> this is kind of a big like leather part of the crop like that I don't, I don't really like that but then there's a lunge whip and then a bonnet and then in here it's just supposed to be like a big giant like storage chest just to like take up space there's more storage in there and then this is kind of a like place to sit over here here is the entrance to the arena and it's an outdoor arena but it's covered and this is the mounting block and i made a lot of jumps for this and oh my gosh there's a loose horse in here not sure why this horse is Oh, hello. I don't think this horse can jump very high anyway. And then, basically, I know you can see, like, I I tried so hard to, like, fix the lighting, but it kind of just, like, backfired. Because I was like, you know, if, it's like, since this is so open, I don't actually have to, like, light it up because it's already, like, naturally lit. But it apparently it's not because like I it was completely pitch black in here so I had to like cut out part of the roof and like um, make little openings in here to try to make it light and then I lit up the jumps so I made a few jumps in here just to like start off you know so this one's my favorite it's a it's a wishing well <laughs> and yeah, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. Like, it's pretty light. I'm not sure what happened. Like, I'm not sure what happened here. This is just, like, glass. And, like, it's glass up there. And it's reflecting down here. Kind of weird, but I tried. I actually tried really hard. Okay, and then there's, like, a pig over here. Like I said, there is a lot of wild animals who just kind of, like, hang around. And let's go to the house so actually should we go to the house first i'll show you the pastures first because they're like really easy to show this is one of them and i love the way like these are designed because like usually i just put fences around and la 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 and it's really boring but this time i actually like made them really interesting this horse isn't actually my horse it's 
like just a wild horse i don't know if this horse is tame it's not it's not it's wild i just like stuck it in here apparently now we're back to the front so this is the entrance to the house there's this like big light in the middle it's like a it crosses through the house and then there's a little i don't know what this is called like it's kind of a bar but it's not a bar but like you know what i mean and then there is a big table i have a toaster and a coffee pot grocery bags a clock and the fridge and then there's like storage over here because this is where the like the redstone got hooked up also there's like a closet in here too just to use up the space and everything and i put all the like heads that i used in here so like or, and also I put the maps that I used in there too. This is kind of like the living room and the office. So this is a desk and it's pretty big for like the little computer that's on there. And then we have a library, a clock, like just a place to sit and then fire. And I just love this room so much. I don't know why, I just do. And then there's a shelf over here with nothing on it and then a closet. These lights in this room are completely separate than the main room, so, like, if you turn these on and off, like, um, they're separate. If we go out here, I need to be, like, super careful in opening the door because there's a million bunnies in here, but this is, like, a little garden slash, like, sitting area with a bunch of flowers, and it's just, like, the cutest garden ever. Like, this is the little, like, um what it looks like from the outside i guess like view of it and yeah i put so many bunnies in here i just love the bunnies this is the bedroom and it has a picture on the wall and then it has a bed and a bookshelf and lydia helped me decorate this room and then you have a complete view like a sitting like what's this called like a window seat and then there's a shelf up there it's a little white in here like i need to like improve it a little bit but you know it's okay and the lights in here are also separate so that's what i like about this house is that like every room is like redstone separately so it's really realistic i know there's like still there's a million animals that just like run loose because this is like a natural like plains world and then there is this parking lot and there's a trailer in here this is actually the same truck and trailer from grand oak i just rebuilt it again because i loved that trailer so much so yep it's in here and i love it so much and you can put the horses in there and load them up i like how this isn't like near the barn so they can like, it's separate from the barn, so they can, like, drive it up to the front and just, like, take the horses out the front, you know? And instead of, like, having it right next to the barn doors. So, yeah, I'll give you, like, a final, like, overview of the whole place. I like how the tree is kind of, like, in the middle. I'm so high up that it's foggy. So, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'm probably going to be making more Minecraft horse videos, maybe on Equestrian Craft, maybe, maybe more single player worlds. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!